Okay, welcome. Welcome to Timber Springs Middle School. Yeah, I'm your principal, Dr. Cantrell. And while we don't have Cub Camp for the incoming sixth graders or like an orientation for our seventh and eighth graders that are new to the school, we do have this video uh, for you to see and get an idea of how Timber Springs is laid out and what you'll be seeing and you know what your second home will be like as future Wolverines. So here we have the front of the school, the entrance of the school. You have the main office over here on the other side, but this is where students enter the school. So when you come to the school in the morning, you'll go through these front doors starting at nine o'clock. Then those that are coming up as bike riders, bike riders or car riders or walkers. So this is our car rider loop. So a very large parking lot and the traffic kind of goes through a pattern here and drops off here at the curbside. Then bikers may be coming from this way or from this way. We have two bike racks that bikes will be parked in. We do ask that all bikes are locked. So you bring your bike chains to lock them as well as walkers primarily. Everybody comes on the sidewalks. They do not cross through the parking lot. We have walkers coming from this way, but mostly most of our walkers are coming from this way in the neighborhoods. So that's the entrance to the school. And here we are in our main school office. So as you come into the building, this is the main way for parents and visitors to come in. Students, we will bring you in a different way uh, through the main corridor, but this is the main lobby and reception office. This is our school secretary. My, she saves me all the time, Ms. Lyman. Um, who really helps to run the school. So there you have it. That's our front office uh, reception area. Let's go over and see our clinic here next. Registration, so the registrar is right here. And then also our clinic. So many times students that have to come to the clinic for different kinds of ailments or if they're taking medication that's been uh, prescribed and the parents have uh, signed for it. Um, that can happen in here. So the clinic, this is where it is connected to the front office. Next, we'll head out to see the rest of the school. And as you come out into the main corridor, of course, this is where students enter the school in the mornings through these doors after nine o'clock. And then you'll go to your various locations throughout the campus. Um, one of those being the media center. So we'll walk over to the media center next. And this is our media center. So oftentimes in the mornings when students come in, as well as throughout the day, if they have to something with their laptop devices or also uh, book checkout and so forth, there's charging stations we have set up in here. A lot of times we'll do different presentations. Some teachers or our media specialist, Ms. McNair, may have some classes in here. I know um, our IED class, which is an eighth grade um, computer class uh, through the PLTW program is in one of the back rooms here. We also have a TV studio on this far side. So the media center is really cool. Mr. Feinberg, who's recording here today, is right over here where our, our tech area is for all the laptops. So that's our media center. Again, going back out into the main corridor here, as you see, this is what it looks like as you enter the school. Uh, so we have our art club students, our art honor society students, some of our students with our Latinos in Action program. They do different decorations. Um, you see this still says St. Patrick's Day. Well, we went out of school about St. Patrick's Day in March, so that's still up there because no one's been able to come back yet. However, if you, this main corridor, you have sixth grade, which we're gonna go to in just a moment, is all the way down this way. And this set of stairwells goes up to our eighth grade class. And this stairwell on this side goes up to our seventh grade classes. So that's how the grade levels are laid out. The SRO's office is right over here uh, near the elevators. We have the elevators if students uh, need those because of any particular special needs. And as you come through the main lobby here, these doors exit out to our ball field. So you have tennis and basketball courts. 
You have our track and soccer field, and there's also a ball field for uh, playing other ball sports like softball. Uh, they practice archery and so forth over there as part of some of the PE classes. So all the outside athletic areas right out through there. So let's go down to our sixth grade hallway offices and see a couple of classrooms. Very colorful, we're gonna have some murals. Uh, they're gonna be hopefully painted this summer that will be part of what you see when you come into the school as well. The glass storefront area you see here, this is what's known as the sixth grade office where it says reception. And so we have counselor, Ms. Henry will be in here. Uh, we have our Dean, Ms. Shepard in here. We also have a reception area as well as a conference room. So this is, each grade level has an office like this. There's one upstairs for seventh, another one for eighth grade. So this is what a grade level office looks like. Okay, moving right along. Let's go down and see a couple of classrooms. So this is one of the sixth grade hallways we're walking down now. There's two of these. Another one on the other side. This would be a sixth grade classroom. We'll walk into the sixth grade classroom. So this is a standard classroom uh, as far as the student desks, teacher desk, smart board, um, the station the teacher has here for working the smart board, but you see how the classroom is laid out, the cabinets and so forth. Standard size classroom for all of our core classes. Okay, let's check out a science lab, because if you are in sixth grade this year, you more than likely have not seen a science lab. Now, some of our new students who are coming to us in seventh and eighth grade may have seen them before in other middle schools, but where do you see this? Let's go on in to see the science lab. So this is a standard science lab. And so all students take science. They'll be in one of the rooms like this. You have the tables for lab tables and different stations that the teachers will set up in the classroom. This is a teacher workstation up here. And you also have the smart board and their station for the smart board here. So for all the new students, sixth grade, as well as any other new students in other grade levels, you pass the sixth grade office, and then through those doors, that goes into our gymnasium, which you'll see in just a little bit. And students, here we are in our school gym, or gymnasium, so all of our different PE classes, fitness classes, also when you come for sports events, uh, some of our band concerts, it's used uh, very much throughout the school year, but it's a pretty cool building to be in. If you look over here, you're gonna see our uh, different banners. So we've had some different championships that we've accomplished in this, our sports in these first three years. And also you'll notice where we go, the extra mile banner or with the American flag, that uh, is our school motto. So that's what we're about here at Timber Springs is we go the extra mile. We do what needs to be done and we're able to, you know, stick together to accomplish those things. And our locker rooms and different equipment storage are located down this hallway. So we'll walk right in here. And you see down through the hallway, we have the boys and girls locker rooms as well as different equipment storage areas. And then the exit doors go out to our ball fields and track area there. Soccer field as well. What do you think so far about Timber Springs? Pretty cool, huh? Here's the other sixth grade hallway. Pretty much uh, mirrors the other hallway. So all of the sixth grade language arts, math, social studies, uh, and science will be in these two hallways. Next, we're going to our elective hallways. Electives, so whether you're talking about art, or PLTW, chorus, band, orchestra, Spanish, they're all down through here. So our elective hallways are, this is one of them, where you will see classes like theater and 
uh, PLTW are down through here, Spanish is also. We'll give you an idea what one of those classrooms looks like. So this is the theater classroom. You see the size of where we have our PLTW labs and our theater. They're much bigger classrooms, labs, where we may have more students, where it might be in the neighborhood of 20 to 22 in the core classrooms. In these classrooms, we could be in the 30s, maybe as much as 40 in some classes. But teachers make it work. There's plenty of space for everybody to spread out. In this area here, you'll notice it's what we call a common area or a collaboration station. Sometimes classes will come out here and do science lab experiments, or they may have some sort of um, theater acting kind of thing that they would do here where they need more open space. Uh, so it's open for all the classes. We have six of these in the building, these larger areas at the end of the different hallways and smart boards so they can do instruction there as well. Here's our other elective hallway where you have art, um, YMCA uh, rooms are located, the business office as well as the game room. Other PLTW classes are located down here. And our cafeteria, as you see, we're getting ready to walk into our cafeteria. So breakfast and lunch, but we also call this our cafetorium. So we have different kinds of performances in here as well. Uh, some theater, orchestra uh, performances, which are kind of cool to have those and other activities. So we'll walk into the cafetorium or cafeteria here. So you see the cafeteria with all the tables. Uh, no normal conditions, we have each grade level, so there's a 6th grade lunch where all the students would come, the 7th grade lunch separate, and an 8th grade lunch separate. Our stage is up here where the theater productions, as well as other kinds of activities, events. And then these are our lunch cashier areas where you go up to pick up the food, and you'll see the lunch cashiers, so this is the serving area right back in here. How about we go down and see some of our music classrooms. We have chorus, orchestra, and band down here. I think we'll look at one of these classrooms where you can see the instruments. Uh, so we do have beginning chorus, beginning orchestra, and beginning band. Uh, we'll walk into the orchestra room here. So you see these are very oversized classrooms too for the practice. Uh, and so forth. And so the music stands and the chairs and the different instruments um, as Ms. Davis, who is our orchestra teacher, will take the students through the different curriculum and practicing. And they have two to three performances every year. So all of the, the music programs, chorus, orchestra, and band uh, have performances for the parents and community as well. So this is a standard uh, size music classroom. You see we have also practice rooms. Sometimes students can practice individually in these rooms. And then there's the teacher's office area back here, as well as storage room. So we have storage of different instruments. This is a smaller one, so you can see some of the instruments in here. other storage over here. We actually have lockers where the different instruments are stored by different students have different lockers depending on the size of the instruments. This is where sometimes they'll take them home, sometimes they'll keep them stored here. Let's take a look at the band room while we're down here. Here you can also get a better shot of our courts, soccer field and track. Um, we don't use these doors to exit unless it's an emergency, but you can see them. Everything is all stored up for the summer. Same type of room with instrument storage on this side, practice rooms. You see also they have sound absorption walls. So because we're practicing instruments and as well as in the chorus room, this helps to get better acoustic sound in, in these rooms. Sounds a lot better in here.
So for bus riders, we'll be coming in through this area here. So those are the gates coming off the road into our bus ramp area. And we're currently standing at the bus ramp, so the buses will pull up here. I believe we've had eight buses in the past. We'll see what it is for next year. And so in the morning, they offload here. And then you also come here uh, afternoon to catch your bus to go home. Uh, so this is our bus ramp area. And you also have benches for seating, but also sometimes um, students that are in music programs may be practicing in the mornings. So we have outside entrances into band, chorus, and orchestra uh, if the teachers are having practice sessions with students as well. So there's your bus ramp area. Okay, so here we are upstairs where we have our seventh grade classrooms that are down here. So the two hallways, which are very similar to the sixth grade wings for the core classes are down on this end. Of course the elevator and then this is another common area like we were talking about for collaboration and different activities. Then on this end, we have a replica with eighth grade classes down here. And then we're right up above the sixth grade hallway. So sixth, seventh and eighth grade hallways are very similar. Then again, if you wanted to see here, you can see at a distance, our property line back to the trees. And so I hope you've enjoyed your tour. Uh, again, we didn't have Cub Camp this summer because of the social distancing uh, procedures we had to follow, but you get a pretty good idea of what Timber Springs look like. So for your new school year, our incoming sixth graders, any new incoming seventh or eighth graders, this is gonna be your home here in just a little while, a few short weeks. Uh, once we know more about how the school year will open, we'll certainly be communicating that to you, but I hope you've enjoyed your tour because you are up and coming Wolverines, go Wolverines!